all right hey guys my name is max welcome to my movie channel no it's been a while since i've seen you guys i'm currently in a creepy parking garage it's actually not that creepy but i just got out watching the scream 5 film or scream 2022 we waiting 11 years for this film scream 4 the last one came out in 2011 <clears throat> so i just finished it it's fresh in my brain I'll kind of go through, no spoilers, and tell you pretty much what I thought. I believe that they did a pretty good job with the casting. I'll say that to begin with. Um, there's a lot of new characters, and of course we have some of our older characters. What they call in this movie, they call them legacy characters, as a matter of fact. Like, that's how they refer to them. So you've got Sydney, uh, Gail, and Dewey making a return. Um, and then a lot of new characters as well. There's certain characters that appear that you, uh, you're like, yeah, they're, they're the killer, <laughs> but you're wrong. You know, like that's classic scream. You know, there's always misdirection and, and people who you think are the killer are not the killer type situation. So I thought it was pretty cool the way that they casted down on a lot of people. And I thought it was really great. <clears throat> the ending reveal. Um, I will say that I also enjoyed the the kills were pretty creative pretty creepy and scary um, the dialogue was very good as well um, that the uh, Roger L. Jackson was uh, who voiced the ghost face killer he, he did a good job um, let's see I thought it was an interesting change of pace and I kind of liked that some of the kills um Actually, never mind. I'm not going to say because it, it might spoil something for you. But let's just say that some of them are, you know, brave and uh, boisterous. They take place when you wouldn't expect someone. It wouldn't be a good idea to do that. You know what I mean? So it's like they come out of nowhere. So I thought that was very brave because usually, you know, it's, it's, it's different. Now, let's go on to some things I don't really like. Um, or I did not really enjoy. There's not much that I didn't like. There was only a couple of scenes that I thought that the pacing was a little off. You know, it was a little, a little, just a little slow. Or that it was just a little irrelevant to the story. Because um, they kind of throw out things that they never come back around. So, yeah, it's one of those type of things. Another thing... There were two or three scenes that I thought were kind of overacted, I guess you could say. Um, but I will say, you know, since there's the new directors, Wes Craven passed away since making uh, Scream 4 in 2011, and uh, he, he directed every film prior. The new directors definitely pay homage to Wes Craven, and uh, I think they did a good job of that. I also think that this movie is true to the Scream franchise. If I would have rate my Scream movies uh, best to worst, it would be Scream 1, Scream 2, mm, Scream 4, Scream 2022, Scream 3. Yeah. Maybe reverse Scream 4 and Scream 2022. I'm still trying to figure it out. I might need to watch it again and, and you know, get another feel for it. But I did like it. I, I liked it a lot. I would give it, let's say, an, uh, let's give it like a 8 out of 10. I would give it an 8 out of 10. Um, definitely really good. There were, there were parts that were very funny. There were parts that were obviously scary. There were parts that were... Um, yeah, a lot of emotion you're going to have in this movie. So it's really good. Um, there's a lot of flashbacks. Not flashbacks. What am I trying to say? Not flashbacks. There's like callbacks. Like referencing things that happened in the past. That's that's what I was trying to say. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. I recommend the movie. I thought it was pretty solid. Pretty good. Um, they also, these new directors, um, had done like an interview or something and said that depending on the success of this movie that they also have a scream six and seven planned out in their heads so that'll be nice to see hopefully this movie does well i think it will i really do because a lot of people like the scream franchise even though when i went in there only two other people but then again it was like 
don't know, 1150 in the morning that I went and it was on a Friday, you know, which normally on Friday people go to the movies at night, all that stuff. So anyways, uh, I don't know. I'm going to get out of here just in case. I'm just joking. No, but yeah, I'm going to get out of here and I do recommend the movie. I thought it was a good time and uh, see it if you've seen it leave me a comment below <clears throat> don't put any spoilers though let me know what you think and talk to you next time